Uh, my name is Jess Jones. I'm a biologist with the Fish and Wildlife Service. Uh, my home office is the Gloucester Field Office in Eastern Virginia, but I'm remotely stationed uh, here in the western part of the state at Virginia Tech. And uh, my job here at um, Virginia Tech University is to uh, propagate and work with the propagation and culture and release of freshwater mussels uh, to stock back in the Clinch and the Powell Rivers uh, to restore some areas that were lost uh, during two large spills. It's a joint project between the Fish and Wildlife Service, Virginia Tech University, and Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries. And there's other partners involved in the project like the Nature Conservancy. You know, we're always looking to advance the technology at FMCC. And uh, Dan Wall is the lab manager of the facility and, and her and I have sat down and talked about what are some of the, the next steps. So uh, one of the things that we'll be doing this summer, uh, which is very exciting, especially for me, is going to China uh, to visit the, the Freshwater Fisheries Re Research Center in Wuxi, China. And this center, the FFRC, is a world leader in uh, producing culture pearls with freshwater mussel species and various fish species. They have a very advanced aquaculture facility there. And we're hoping to go over there and learn from them about how they are working with a couple of species uh, in captivity to do all the spawning and the captive rearing completely in captivity. So they've closed the life cycle for a couple of species that they're, that they're using for uh, producing culture pearls uh, at their facility. The species that we've been using in China since 1960, late 1960, it's called Hylopsis kimingi. That's the species used for pearl culture. And at the beginning, same as here, we collect the wild specimens and do the propagation in indoor. And now we'd be able to culture those species you know, in the captivity and in the pond or lake or some any kind of you know water source and be able to grow them to uh, adults and then get them matured in the captivity and use those for the you know next generations which we're looking for doing that kind of uh, work maybe in the future and see if we can use this kind of technology for our species in the US. And also, I think the uh, conservation issue is a global issue. It's not just the U.S. We will always be facing things like catastrophic spills, and uh, areas of rivers will be affected, and there will be a need, you know, to, to grow uh, mussels out and stock them back to replenish populations. It's probably worth our time uh, to explore all possibilities for learning and for improving what we're doing here, whether that. You know, it requires a trip to the next state or just down the road or across the globe.